Hello everyone, Happy New Year's Eve. Welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer, and if I sound terrible, that's why I've been missing in action. I have not felt good at all this week. I've had a variety of issues. Little man is in the background being exceptionally loud and there's nothing I can do about that. He is, he is, oh my God, he's loud. He's saying highly inappropriate things to get a reaction. So if you hear stuff, I apologize ahead of time. There's nothing I can do about him. Um, him being home from, from school and not having a lot to do all day long is driving him crazy. He has to constantly be busy doing stuff or he gets himself into trouble. He is... <laughs> he has been exploring the entire house by and by that I mean going in the closets and digging stuff out going in drawers and digging stuff out going in the garage and digging stuff out and he's a mild hoarder so if he finds anything that has anything to do with technology he steals it and puts it in his bedroom so that he can figure out how it works so he found some old internet routers that he has claimed as his own he found my cameras and he took my DSLR cameras into his room and I had no idea he had them. DSLR cameras are the expensive big ones. They are not toys. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. He needs structure in his everyday life and uh, apparently I'm not giving him enough because it's been crazy because the holidays and I'm not feeling well and all of those things. So. What am I working on? I'm making a blanket. <laughs> I'm making a blanket. Um, I have a project coming up this week that I have to I have to work on for premiere. And so before I get started on something that is work, I am trying to do something that is not work in between. And so I came in here and I was like, I knew I wanted to work with a bulky yarn because I could make something kind of fast. And I wanted to come in here and, you know, work on something that's not going to take up a lot of brain power because I don't really feel well. So I was looking for specifically this yarn, which I told you guys, this was, um, this is the Karen Tea Cakes. It is from, it was originally at Michael's. Come on, focus. It's originally from Michael's. It was released at Michael's. Um, and then it got cleared out at Michael's. And I purchased exactly one of these in this colorway. And I really... I, this is not my normal colorway at all. Like, I like brights. But I fell in love with this color. This is, I think, a smoked fruit. Yeah, a smoked fruit. This, this one does have wool in it. And I purchased one because it was kind of expensive, even clearance out. And I really fell in love with it, but then I realized you can't make anything with this. This is only 204 yards. So what am I going to make with this? I don't need bulky hats and scarves and cowls. So this isn't big enough to really make anything. So I kind of sat it on the, the shelf and I was like, okay, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one skein. Why did I buy just one skein? And then I looked for more, could not find it anywhere. I checked several Michaels, could not find this colorway. So Ollie's ended up having it for $4.99, which, I mean, still not that great of a price. <laughs> it's not a bad price, but I, you expect to go to Ollie's and pay like $2, $3. That's what, that would be fantastic, but I didn't mind paying $5. I bought a bunch of these, and then I was like, okay, well, what am I going to make with this? What am I going to make with this yarn? Could not, could not think. I could not design. I could not create because my brain was not allowing me to. So, Mr. Cinnamon was in here and we were talking things through because sometimes I bounce ideas off of him so that I get an idea of what I want to make or what I might want to do. And he bounces ideas off of me so I get an idea of what I don't want to do. Because, <laughs> you know, he doesn't really know yarn. He doesn't know... I mean, he knows way more than most spouses. However... um, he still, he doesn't understand, you know. So he'll suggest, like, making a hat. Well, what am I going to do? Like, it's in the 60s right now. What am I going to do? We don't have cold winters here. Not enough for me to wear anything bulky, really. 
So, the only thing I could really think of is to make a blanket. I was like, okay, but what kind of blanket? I was thinking I could make a corner to corner. I could make all that. I was thinking, I, I don't want to make a corner to corner. I've made so many corner to corners. So I looked down, and this actually had a pattern on the label for a, like a granny stitch chevron type blanket. It's wavy granny crochet blanket. So I was like, you know what, that'll work. But it called for five balls. I only had four balls. So I also had the Karen Chunky Cakes right here. So... And even though the Karen Chunky Cakes is a little bit thinner, does not have any wool in it, and this has wool in it, I'm like, whatever. Let's, we're going to mix them. We're going to mix them. And no, you wouldn't think that those would go well together, but I actually really like the way it's turning out. I think it's pretty. And it's so not my typical... It's so not my typical colors. But it's going to be a nice... Thing. Thick blanket. It's going to be nice and heavy. And the only problem is that pattern says that this blanket is supposed to be, I think, 50 inches wide. This is not 50 inches wide. And I'm doing everything that they say. Let me measure this. It's supposed to be 50 by 58. There's no way this is 50 inches. I even told Mr. Cinnamon, I was like, this is not 50 inches. That's the wrong end of the tape measure. Let's see how long it actually is. If I stretch it, it's 43 inches. It covers my legs. It does, but it's not wide enough. I like a wide blanket that actually covers me, and I don't even got to stretch it. This does have some stretch in it, so it might actually stretch to 50 inches. I doubt it. <laughs> but I was thinking about adding rows onto the side but it looks so pretty as it is I also don't want to mess it up so I'm just I don't know I'm just kind of playing it by ear and going with the flow so the reason I'm on today is because it is New Year's Eve and I was watching Amy Beth over at the Fat Squirrel Speaks and she was talking about goals and she was talking about resolutions and she's talking about reflections on the end of the year and I was like okay well I really do want to reflect on the end of the year I want to reflect on the past year I wanted to make a video about that but I I didn't make any videos this week because I wasn't feeling well so I figured I'd come on I'd make a quick video try to edit it and upload it before the end of the day because right now it's 10.22 in the morning on New Year's Eve. Mr. Cinnamon's getting ready to go to the store to get some food. Hey, do you have the list? Huh? Do you have the list? I figured me and you can go out and get that later. I can grab it now if you want me to. Well, because some of it needs to be put in the crock pot soon. That's why I'm saying. I will add anything to it if I need to. Um, let Okay. So the meatloaf mix is for the meatballs? Yeah. Okay. But if you can get ground beef cheaper, which I doubt. Well, no, just I, I just I, need meat for meatballs. I like the meatloaf mix. I think okay. that mixture of meat is good. All right. Yeah, the 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 gluten-free um breadcrumbs get the Italian style or something like that not like, you know, like breadcrumbs, not... What is the other stuff called? Not pinko. Yeah, not pinko. Do 
we have eggs? Alright. So we're finalizing. We tend to. We stay in on New Year's Eve. And um, the kids are all home. We try to have snacky style foods on New Year's Eve. And then tomorrow I'll make it a ham. And um, if he can find one. Is ham on the list? Yes. All right. That means a ham. A ham. So I'm making a ham and cheesy potatoes tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> but tonight we're making um, finger foods. And the kids actually came up with the menu. So um, Juju likes those little smoky link sausages in barbecue sauce. So I'm going to put those in the crock pot. And then she wants Italian style meatballs in red gravy. So I'm going to make that. What kind of shrimp? If you want shrimp, get shrimp. Get the Old Bay cocktail sauce. Because that's my favorite. Um, I guess rubber shrimp now too. I don't really eat meatballs. I can't eat red sauce. And um, ground beef doesn't really agree with my stomach. Especially red sauce does not agree with my stomach. There are a lot of things that don't agree with my stomach. So I can eat like the, the cocktail, not the cocktail sausage, the little smoky links in the barbecue sauce. I can eat that in minimal some amount. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to eat, but they got their little plans. I don't remember what else they put on the list. But tomorrow we're having ham and cheesy potatoes, which I've just learned in the past year or two that cheesy potatoes are actually called funeral potatoes in a lot of places. Um... I've never heard that until recently, but they're just cheesy potatoes. And to make my cheesy potatoes, because I always get asked, this is my mom's recipe that I had to convert to gluten-free. Um, my mom's recipe was the little square frozen hash brown potatoes, the square ones, not the O'Brien, because I can't eat onions, so onions make me sick. Um, you mix a bag of those with a can of Campbell's cream of potato soup, a can of milk, and then you know you fill up the potato can, the potato soup can with milk, um, a bag of cheese, and salt and pepper to taste. You mix it up, you put it in the oven. Very very simple recipe. I have converted it because I can't eat cream of potato soup because Campbell's cream of potato soup has gluten in it. Um, so I had to switch it to cream of chicken, which is the gluten-free cream of chicken that I can find on the store shelves. For some reason, they don't have gluten-free cream of potato on any store shelf in this area. I could order it online, but that's just a big hassle. And um, the same thing, except I have to double the recipe and sometimes triple the recipe because Juju loves it. She will eat it for days afterward. Or if you make a big... A supply of it you can put it in the freezer and then just thaw it out and cook it later it's like good for a freezer prep <clears throat> that's what we're doing tonight nothing just staying in staying safe I'm always afraid to go out on New Year's because there's so many people who are drinking and driving and I'm not willing to risk my life because other people are dumb so so let's talk about reflections. Let's reflect back on this past year. The end of the year was kind of hard for me. Like, I ended the year very hard. I'm having, I don't want to say mental health instability because that implies that I'm crazy and I'm not. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea, but I'm just having a difficult time mentally. Um, for a lot of reasons. And sometimes reasons I don't thoroughly understand what? BJ's has the ham still, and they're only 2 dollars a pound. Aldi's had a bunch of hams. Well, I just checked their thing. They're 5 dollars a pound. Oh, well, do whatever you gotta do. So it's like 60 bucks for a ham. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have that. Right. So, anyway. Um, 
But for the most part, it was a really good year. Like, it was a really good year for the most part. We hit 30,000 subscribers this year. And I think we also hit 25,000 subscribers this year, which was also a big deal. I don't exactly remember. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Much like Amy Beth, otherwise known as the Fat Squirrel Speaks. I'm having a hard time remembering individual moments. It's all kind of a blur. This year's been a little bit crazy. But not in a bad way. It hasn't been a bad. It hasn't been bad at all. Um, the channel has had a lot of growth. I have solidified and um, made better my relationship with Premier Yarns, which was crazy amazing. Um, I think it was, it might have been, I don't remember how long ago, but they hired a new, I call her my handler, okay? They hired a new woman that handles us influencers, and I just really enjoy her. She caters to us and I've seen her also interact with other podcasters so I know <laughs> you know like when creative grandma Glenda when Glenda showed her email and one of her she showed her emails I saw emails in her inbox from you know our person I don't want to say her name because I don't want nobody trying to like well cinnamon stitches said that I should contact so and so if you got a problem because people tend to do that well I know cinnamon stitches because I watch her channel and I've had a few people name drop me like they know me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> if you got a problem, that's your problem. You deal with it on your own. You know, like that's not, <laughs> that's not on me. So, um, I really feel like I know that she watches my videos because she, she comments. And I, and she also like mentions stuff in emails with me. So I know she's in tune with us. And to me, to have a yarn company, I mean, I know that it was necessary that they hired someone to handle us because we were getting tossed around a little bit because they didn't, they weren't really used to handling, you know, influencers, so it was new territory for them. And so when they hired this lady, like, first of all, I just really enjoy her. I think she's a good person. I like talking to her. I like that she pays attention to me. And I like that she hears what I'm saying in regards to what I personally need or want out of the relationship with a yarn company. Because other companies just kind of ignore you and like, they don't value you, you know? They just don't. I've worked with a few, you guys know, over the, over the course of my channel, I've worked with several different companies, yarn companies, crochet hook companies, and quite a few of them have turned sour because I know when I'm being used. <laughs> um, I also, I, I want to be appreciated for what I do because I don't have to. And I think Premier is like the one company that, I Mary Maxim, Mary Maxim, I would say, wants to meet my needs as well. Um, but, like, I've really, really grown my relationship with Premier Yarns this year. And it's been a lot of fun. We've really went forward with the Premier Yarn of the Week this year. Which I really enjoy. <laughs> because I don't have to think. I go into my stash because I have... I have quite a... I have quite a lot of the Premier Yarns in stock, is what I say. It's in my stash. I have... A lot of their yarns. I don't have all of their yarns because I don't like all of their yarns to be quite honest. I'm not a big fan of furry yarns. <laughs> not a big fan of blanket style yarns or 100% um, polyester yarns. I, it's a uh, sensory thing for me. But I do have I do have a lot of yarn on stash so that the Piao videos are easy for me to make because I already have the yarn here. I literally just dive into a box of yarns and I pull one out and I show it to you guys. And you know, it's fun. I get to show a yarn, I get to talk about my opinions on it. I don't have to purchase anything extra or special, you know. So it's a lot of fun. I really have enjoyed that this year. I've enjoyed, I also turned on memberships this year, which I didn't want to do. I did not want to turn on memberships. Um, 
YouTube gave me a really good incentive. They gave me a huge bonus for turning on. I mean, it was a pretty good size bonus for turning on memberships. And for me, like, it was a, an internal struggle with the memberships because I don't like... And anybody that does Patreon, I don't... I'm not discrediting them at all. I didn't like the idea of you guys having to pay to have access to me because I just don't know. I felt uncomfortable with that. I almost personally, and this probably comes from being poor growing up, it's like I felt like I was begging and I don't... Mm -mm. No, I don't I don't want it to seem like I'm just out here for the money or you know I just didn't like the idea but when when YouTube offered me the incentive the the pretty good incentive to turn memberships on I was like well if I don't like it I can turn it off in a couple months right but then quite a few of you joined I don't I'm not sure how many members we have I think it's last time I checked it was around 75 should probably check that now um i have i find it beneficial because i know some of you on a much more personal level now and i try to comment back on as many of those as i can but a lot of times the comments are telling me you're so great i love you Th this video was hilarious and it's a lot of me just saying thank you over and over again and i'm i feel really weird about that i'm weird about communication anyway i don't communicate real well when i get on here you guys can tell my brain is all over the place and in person it is much worse it is much worse because i have anxiety and i have like oh you're so stupid why did you say that like it, that's always through my head if i can remember how to get to memberships And so I try to comment as much as I can, but when it's thank you over and over again, I feel so, that feels more impersonal to me, just saying thank you. I cannot remember how to get to my memberships. Oh, there we are. How many members do we have? We have 81 total members, which is fantastic. Oh, my lab results were in from the doctor yesterday when it had blood i got a big old bruise the guy was gentle and i don't generally bruise so i don't know why i bruised <clears throat> so anyway back to the memberships i feel like the memberships were a good thing because i'm getting to know some of you on a much much more personal level and i feel like i'm it's hard when there's thirty thousand people following you to get to know specific people unless those people comment every single video. And let's face it, you guys, <laughs> I don't ever ask you to, I don't ask you to like, subscribe, comment. I don't ask you to do none of that. If you do it, I appreciate it. But it's not necessary. If you just watch me, like, we're cool. Like, hi. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys my very best. I really am. Sometimes I fail at that. But, um, yeah. Anyway, the memberships turned out to be a good thing. It does help monetarily, however, it more than anything, it helps me to get to know some of some of the more loyal fans. Cuz I mean, face it, you got to be loyal to want to pay to see extra content from me. <laughs> you have to really like me for that. So, I just really I really enjoy we um the memberships are fun because it's personal videos. It's not like what you see on the channel. It's Sometimes I'm just in my pajamas and I'm filming on my phone from really bad angles. So like it'll be down here and you get to see all of the glorious chins that I have. Because <laughs> if you don't know, camera angle is everything. Lighting is everything. So you guys are slightly, I mean not incredibly elevated. My eye level is just below where you're at. So you're just about an inch or two above eye level from me. Because it makes me look much slenderer. And I feel prettier. <laughs> but the members video oftentimes is I just set my phone wherever and I talk. And it's more of, um, not cinnamon stitches, but it's more of Jennifer. And it feels like often it's a safe place where I don't have to try so hard to look happy. I don't have to try so hard to be funny. 
I'm just me talking about what's going on in my personal life or talking about what we're doing on the channel or previews of what's about to come up. It's just Jen. And um, that's Jen is not for everyone. <laughs> A lot of people love cinnamon stitches. Um, less people love Jen. So I will say that. Not that I'm a different person on camera because I do not do well being fake. I cannot. Um, if someone asks me, and I, I don't do this to be mean, okay? If someone asks me if something looks bad on them because they already are feeling like it looks bad on them, I will say something nice along the lines of, um, but truthful. I don't say, oh, no, you look fine. I say, well, maybe it's a little too tight or maybe it's the wrong color for your skin or something. Like, I'm honest to a fault sometimes. A lot of people have a hard time with that because the world sugarcoats stuff and I don't. I, it's not, I don't have it in me to be a liar or to be fake. I can't be fake. I can be, I'm business minded. I can be, um, <laughs> you know, I can put on the the business face and be professional and be you know perform if you will but I can't I can't come on here and be fake I, if I'm feeling that low I can't come on and you guys see it you guys see it my face tells everything when I'm when I'm not feeling well you guys call me out on it like I can tell you're not feeling well when I'm way overstressed because I'm putting too much pressure on myself you guys call me out on that and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that because I don't like the sugar coating back at me either. I don't like people saying, um, oh no, you look fine. No, I don't. I have a mirror. <laughs> I look terrible. I'm stressed out. You know, like, let's, let's be real, folks. Let's be real. I, I'm not holding it all together. My basket's broken. So, you know, you get a little more of the, the raw gin on the memberships but i've also really enjoyed that i didn't think i would like it as much <coughs> didn't think i would like it as much and i don't know if you guys know this but if you become a member you can watch all the past members videos which i think is kind of fun i mean you can go through and catch up some of the days i feel like man i'm a hot mess i shouldn't uploaded that but then you know whatever <laughs> it is what it is I've also re-recorded re and re-recorded members videos because I just was, I, I, I shouldn't have recorded that day or whatever. So, yeah. I think all in all, 2022 was a good year. I think my favorite part of the year is it felt like a lot more normality after the whole COVID thing. It felt like a whole lot more normality where people started touching again and like greeting each other with a handshake or a hug or not wearing those god awful masks all the time. Like if you're a masker or you're a non masker, like it don't matter. But everybody knows there's certain situations where you gotta wear that mask, it's uncomfortable. Like yesterday, for example. We used to have a ton of Disney masks around the house, but they got worn out because the kids were wearing them to school every day. Mr. Cinnamon was required much longer to wear a mask at work because he works in a government facility. And, um, yeah. So the mask slowly disappeared. And now we only have, like, a couple. And I had to go get blood work, like I said yesterday. Because my prescription for one of my heart medications is... I have needed a refill for about a month and a half now and my doctor can't get me in no matter what he couldn't get me in for my really bad hand flare up he can't get me in for refills I can't get in to see him till the end of January but he insists that I had to have blood work like cool okay well <laughs> I waited till the holidays were over mostly because I don't want to have to think about blood work when it's Christmas or the, I had so much going on at Christmas time, I just waited. And so I went yesterday, got my blood work finally done at Mr. Cinnamon's, insisting I was going to wait until after the beginning of the year, but then I would have been out of my medication again. And as it is, I, I actually am out of my medicine. I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm out of my medicine, but Mr. Cinnamon takes the same medicine. So I'm taking some of his until I get my refill. Then I will pay him back in his medicine. 
I guess that's the one good thing about us be both being on the same medication. I don't recommend that. You're not supposed to do that. I know it's wrong, but it's the same medicine. It is the exact same. So, <clears throat> now I gotta wait until the end of January to go to the doctor. They can tell me the same thing I've always heard at every doctor appointment. You need to take better care of yourself. I, I, I do realize that. Me and Mr. Cinnamon got into an argument last week. It was, I don't even know what we were arguing about, but he said something that set me off. And I looked at him. He, he, got, he, he took a stab at me, and this is not, I mean, we were just both being petty, okay? He took a stab at me because I can't ever remember my own medications. He has to make sure I get it. And I yelled at him. I was like, you know why I can't remember to take my medications? Because I'm so busy taking care of everybody else, including the dogs. Like, everybody else's needs come before mine. And that shut him up real quick. Because <laughs> he knows it's true. So, I won that argument. But did I really win? No. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> and I really can't. I have the hardest time remembering my medicine. I'm getting better. I gotta set 8,000. I have so many alarms on my phone throughout the day. I have to, because there's so much going on, I have my planner. And I, I keep my main schedule on my planner, but I also have to set reminders or else I'm gonna forget because my life is just so all over the place all the time. Um... I have to set reminders to bathe my child because I'll forget. So I have certain days of the week where he has to get in the shower and so I have a shower alarm for little man. I have an alarm to remind either Mr. Cinnamon or little man to take the garbage to the curb for garbage day or else it will get forgotten. I have alarms <laughs> for when Juju wakes up for school in case her alarm doesn't go off. I have an alarm for me to start to wake up and then a 15 minute later alarm for Lucas to start to wake up for school. And then I have an alarm to remember for him to take his medicine in the morning. And then I have an alarm that it's time to leave to take him to school in the morning because it keeps us on schedule and keeps us flowing through what he needs to do, get done in the morning because I will forget something. I, I guarantee it. Um, I don't have an alarm for my own medication because at the time, at one time, I was doing everything in the same order every single day. And I would come home from taking him to school and I would sit down and I would eat breakfast and I would take my medicine. But then it became, when he started taking medicine, it became, well, did I take my medicine? Because I remember going to the medicine cabinet. But did I take my medicine or did I only give him his medicine? And then when the dogs are on medicine, like, it, did, it, did I take my medicine or did I give the dogs their medicine? What, like? <laughs> and yes, I have one of those days of the week pill things. I never remember to fill it. I'll go through two weeks because it's a two week thing. I'll go through two weeks and I'll have taken my medicine for two weeks. I'll, I will have been able to keep track of it for two weeks. I hear it in my mouth. But then when I empty the container out, I forget to refill it over and over again. Like, I, I'll, I'll refill it later. Or I put it off because I'm doing st other stuff, you know. So, i got a whole lot of chaos happening in my house. And then the appointments are killing me. It's not just me. It's like the dogs. Mr. Cinnamon. Me. Little man's doctor's appointments for his medicine checkup. Um, when my niece is home, she's always like, oh, can you take me? Because she had braces. Can you take me to the orthodontist? Can you take me to the dentist? And it's like, can you take me to get my driver's permit? Can you teach me how to drive? And then Juju, well, I need to go to the mailbox. I need to go to the post office and drop off orders. I need to, you know, it's like, 
then I gotta go to the, the grocery. It's like I'm constantly, constantly going, 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 going. We actually went last night, me and Mr. Cinnamon went to the movies. Um, I'm a D23 member. It is, um, it's a Disney thing. <clears throat> I got it as a present two years ago because they had this really cool gift box with like pins and like, you know, gifts. Um, a lunch pail, like the old style metal lunch pails, but it's Disney. It's really cute. It's totally retro style. And um, Mr. Cinnamon didn't realize when he signed up for that that he actually, it's an auto renew thing. So I was like, you know what? He didn't have the money to auto renew at the time. They took the money anyway, so I just paid for my own membership. And I get special discounts. I get special, um, I get to go to special events if I want. But the events are all across the country, so I'm not flying all around just so I can go to an event. So they can brag about what they're getting ready to do. Because that's mostly what it is. But every once in a while they send me like free movie tickets for a new movie that's been released. And so last week they're like, hey, we're sending you a free ticket just for me to go see Avatar 2. I love Avatar 1. Like Avatar was a really good movie. It's the one with the blue alien people, okay? I really enjoyed the movie. And I... I I enjoy, I'm not big into action movies, but I enjoyed the beautiful scenes in the movie. The cinemography is just gorgeous. And I really love the blue people. I think that, I think they're just beautiful, you know? And so I also like that um, there's a little bit of cultural awareness in the movies, especially part two. I'm not going to give anything away, but. Um, in part two, there is a new kind of blue people. They're more like this color instead of blue. They're gorgeous. And they're water people. So um, they live off the water. It's very Polynesian island type. Um, it's almost like they're Polynesian. But they're blue aliens. okay, Or aqua aliens, whatever you call it. Parts of the movie... Um, it seemed like they were the Maori. Um, the Maori have a special dance, whereas Hawaiians have like the hula and like the different islands have different um, traditions, different dances, different whatever. And the Maori, I believe it's the Maori, they do a fighter warrior dance and they use like a lot of facial hat type things. To scare off the spirits or whatever. To show the the person they're fighting how fierce they are. They use a lot of that kind of expressions. And the, the aqua people. I don't remember what they were called. They did that. And I was like, that's really cool. It's like they're bringing in a little bit of the Polynesian flair. I don't know. I just really enjoy Pandora. I just... <laughs> I'm going to go visit Pandora. I just like Avatar. It was a good movie. So, and Avatar 2 was really good. Um, there was mixed reviews on it. If you like part 1, you're going to like part 2. I think. I loved part 2. I cried at several points through the movie. Um, it was beautifully, beautifully directed. It was just a beautiful, it was a beautiful film. And it was a lot more, whereas um, Avatar 1 is, they're in the forest, and it's a lot of like, forest nature scenes this one is more based on the ocean and there's a lot of oceanic type fictional scenes you know it's, it was just a beautiful movie I really enjoyed it so I got my free movie ticket which I was fantastically happy about and I told Mr. Sinema I was like I told him in passing I claimed the ticket but I wasn't sure we were gonna go because we don't do date night a whole lot we don't do movie night um yeah when we go out it's usually we go out to eat or something and so I was like, I got a free ticket to go see Avatar 2. And he's all, really? I was like, yeah, he's all, hmm. What day you want to go? I was like, we're going to the movies? He's all, yeah, we'll go to the movies. So we picked yesterday, which was Friday. And we went at like 5. We went at like 5, I think. Um, was it 5? It had to have been earlier than that. Because the movie's like three and a half hours long. And they ran 
the commercials a half an hour in where the movie was supposed to start at whatever time and like a half an hour later the movie started because there were so many commercials and ads well, I don't mind the ads but like dang now I was getting irritated because some guy came in with his daughters and they were like teenage daughters and they sat right behind us and he is on the phone the whole time the ads are running and his daughter's like dad get off the phone dad. and he's like yeah we're at the movies and um yeah the ads are on right now and and he's just like talking about stuff like you're in go in the hallway if you need to talk on the phone i didn't say nothing because you know the movie hadn't technically started yet but still Another thing I got to set alarms for is class with Bentley. He's in there trying to get on the kitchen table. Bentley! Get down! Bentley! He's like, Mom, I can't see you. Because the door, which is usually clear, is covered in Christmas cards. Oh, I got a bunch of Christmas cards and some happy mail, which is over here in the chair. I will probably show that next week. I didn't get a lot of the Christmas cards until after Christmas. Because um, I saw that packages were coming and I I don't live anywhere near the post office. And I didn't want to make that drive and then turn around and make that drive and then turn around and make that drive again. So um, I just waited until the packages came in and then went and got the mail. And I think I got the mail the day before yesterday. But I got, I got mail from a um, local yarn shop. And she sent me yarn from her local yarn shop. And it's the good stuff that I love <laughs> so I'm very excited about that but we'll show that next week it'll be like the beginning of the year type stuff making progress on my blanket I'm just crocheting along it's gonna be weird because me and Bentley haven't been to um, dog training class because it's we go on Sundays and Last Sunday was Christmas. This Sunday is New Year's, so there's no classes. Hi, baby. You want to come in? You want to come in? He can't sit in the chair because there's a box in there, but I'll let him in. Can you come in? Hi. Come here. Come here. Say hi to everyone. He's getting so big. I'm not going to be able to pick him up much longer. He is almost as big as the other two dogs. Like height wise. He's still got a lot of growing to do. But like it's not going to be long where I'm not going to be able to pick him up. This boy I'm telling you. He will spend all day outside playing with the dogs. Playing with the girls. And then when it's nap time. He finds me wherever I'm at. And wants to lay down with me. You're tired. Stay here. I love you. Love you. And at night, all he wants to do is cuddle me. All he wants to do is cuddle me. However, we got to do some serious training in the yarn room because he comes in here and looks for yarn, which is what he's doing now. Nope. No. He grabs a ball of yarn and runs out in the backyard. And he does it a lot. And it's always like the good yarn that I don't want him to get into. But... I mean, totally my fault. I leave yarn on the floor. But I need to train him to not touch it. <clears throat> Alright, ready to go back out? Oh. See you later, Bubba. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yeah. I really need to clean my desk off. If you guys could see it, it is a hot, hot mess. It's really bad. Because I've been trying to put stuff away, trying to reorganize, um, trying to figure out what I'm doing with some of my supplies. Because Mr. Cinnamon made me this awesome, you guys saw it, this awesome box. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to store things on my desk. I have a whole lot of this happening. So these are my yarn bowls, but I'm not using them as yarn bowls. I'm using them as junk collectors instead of putting it away. So all of these beautiful glitter yarns, thread things, 
I shoved into a yarn bowl, but they're all coming loose and tangling. And the threads are getting all over the house. So, and I have that amazing little drawer in that thing that Mr. Cinnamon made for me. So I need to start using that. But also, because it's so close to Christmas, everyone was coming in here looking for tape. Or scissors, which I'm not even seeing any scissors. So I got a lot of just this kind of thing happening. I don't want my yarn bowls being filled with garbage. And I'm doing it myself, so it's my own fault. And I don't even have room to put this back now that I moved it. Tape. My rest my mom's recipe book is still in here for me showing you guys. The uh where is this coming from? My mom's cheesy potatoes. There's purple thread and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Under the pile. Under the pile. So yeah. But <clears throat> I was watching someone else. I think it was Yarn Joy Podcast. I think I was watching her the other night. <coughs> <coughs> and she was talking about she needs to clean up her room. <laughs> And she's all, because I have a real bad habit of, I come in here and get something out to work with it, and then I don't put it back in its proper place. Boy, do I relate to that. <laughs> I need this, and then I pull it out, and then I'm like, hey, and I, I'll have someone, like, the kids are always up and around moving. Can you go put this on my desk? And so, a lot of stuff just gets set on the desk. Or other people's stuff gets set on the desk because, oh, we cleaned off the kitchen table. We'll just go shove it on mom's desk because we don't know where it actually goes, you know. So there's a lot of that happening, too. But I'm in the process of um, doing not, I'm not doing a whole yarn room haul again. Like, I'm not hauling over the yarn. But I do want to um, organize some things, put some things away that have needed to be put away. And I'm going to grab another box, another um, plastic tub to empty this year. Um... I ideally have several tubs that I would like to empty. If you guys look over here, there's four right here. But what you don't see is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight more of those plastic bins under my desk. Some of the plastic bins have yarn for Piao. Some of the bins have... Um, hand dyed yarn that I have caked up that I've never used. <laughs> I dyed it. I loved it. I caked it up with the intention of using it. Never got around to using it. And then I have a plastic bin that has Hanks. Fancy, fancy Hanks that I'm not using because I don't want to have to cake it up before I use it. So <clears throat> There's a lot of that going on. I would like to change that next year. I really would like to... I have some goals for next year. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But I have some goals for next year that I want to accomplish. Maybe I should write a list for myself. I don't set hard goals. I don't go, oh, I, I want to lose 100 pounds next year. Because I know that I'm going to fail at that. I just know it. Okay, life is just too all over the place for me to set a hard goal like that. I can't say, well, I'm going to use 800 skeins of yarn, yarn next year. Yeah, I can't even say I'm going to use 100 skeins of yarn next year, which is a good probability that I will actually use 100 skeins of yarn. I've been known to use 50 skeins of yarn in a week. <laughs> okay, that's an exaggeration. <coughs> I think the most I've used in a week is like 25 skeins of yarn. That was making a lot of little things all at once. Um, because, I mean, if you're making little things, they work up fast. Or if you're using small skeins of yarn, they work up fast. But I'm not setting any, like, hard rules for that. I just want to maybe get rid of a bucket. One bucket is reasonable to me. Um... I want to continue growth personally. I don't really care so much about the numbers on my channel. 
I mean, 30,000 is amazing to have 30,000 subscribers. If it stays, and I have said this at every major goal, I've said this at 10,000, I've said this at 20,000, I've said this at 25,000. If we stay at 30,000, I'm cool with that. I'm happy here. I'm trying to be happy in every place that we're at. If we grow, cool. I don't have big goals. I don't want to be rich and famous. I don't want to have like, <laughs> you know, I don't have big goals for this channel. I don't, I don't, I think that's too much pressure. But I do have like little goals I want to set. I want, I want to use up more, you know, hand dyed yarn. I want to use up the good yarn. I want to make things, I want to make big things out of some of the yarns. I want to make a sweater. These goals are attainable, you know. Um, we'll talk more about that tomorrow, though. <laughs> if I talk about it now, we won't have a video for tomorrow. But, you know, I'm just thinking about what I want for next year and what, what I want to do, what I want to accomplish. And if you're the type of person that has all kinds of goals, like, cool, that's good for you. I can't do that. If you're the person that don't set goals at all, cool. Like, I understand. <clears throat> for me having an idea of what I want to accomplish next year helps me to stay on track with what I wanted and those goals can change at any time I can decide I no longer want to make a sweater <laughs> and I want to knit a sweater not crochet a sweater my problem is, is that I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up I'm afraid I'm going to screw up somehow and I will have used the good yarn for this and the good yarn will have been wasted because I put it into a project you know and I also was telling Mr. Cinnamon the other days, like, one of my major hang-ups with using the good yarn is when it's used, it's gone. It's gone. It's done. It's not there anymore. I used it. And I'm looking because Mr. Cinnamon got me some of these beautiful koi goo things for Christmas. Okay? If I use it, it's, it's done. If I keep it, I still have it. But if I use it, and a lot of times... A lot of I make something that I intend to keep and then I don't use it so I donate it or I give it away or <laughs> whatever same thing with this blanket this blanket is beautiful I intended it to be for myself and I'm I don't know that it's gonna be wide enough for me I mean it covers me it definitely covers me but it don't cover me like the way I like to be covered like I want blanket I want to be able to share the blanket if I want so this is just not wide enough. I mean, it's only, look, <laughs> fingertip to my armpit. I like it to go arm to arm. <clears throat> but I could also, I could turn it this way and wrap it around. I But I don't know. I don't know. Checking to see how long it is. Let's see how far I'm going to go with this color before I go back to the last cake. So, yeah. I think I'm going to let you go because I'm starting to run out of things to say. And um, I will see you tomorrow because I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to put my crochet down and I'm going to write a list of goals that I want to accomplish next year. And then we're going to record that and hopefully I can get both videos uploaded today. And until then, I hope you have a happy and safe new year. If you drink, don't drive. If you get high, don't drive. Um, you can't take back if you've killed somebody because you're behind the wheel and you're intoxicated. You can't take that back. And whether or not you get charged for that or not, you can't take it back. There's too many precious people on the road trying to get from point A to point B. They don't deserve their life to be ended because you were drinking. So just don't do it. If you're drinking somewhere, cool. Stay where you're at. Or call an Uber or call a taxi or there's lots of places on New Year's Eve that will give you free rides find one of those in your area or just don't drink <laughs> so for me we're having some sparkling apple cider we're staying at home where it's nice and safe and cozy I can't say warm because it's actually really nice out today it's in the 60s like I said the weather is fantastic um, well it's raining today but like I'll take the rain and the warmth over cold I don't like cold. <laughs> and until then, I will see you next year. Bye, guys.